Pro Chancellor, I present to you for the award of degree of Maester of the Varsity, Honoris Causa, Ronald Watt. <laughs> Ronnie Watt, or to give him his Sunday name, Ronald Watt, is an interesting character. He has trained more than 20,000 young people and adults in the skills of Shotokan Karate, a resolute discipline for mind and body. But you may not know what he has overcome to do that, a journey in which determination and the art of karate itself played a central role. In his late teens, Ronnie was working in engineering, a son of Aberdeen. He says, health and safety was a bit different then. I got my leg pulled into this big cast planer and nearly got my leg cut off. The bones came right through. In the hospital for a year, he missed activity in sports. And when he got out, he was driven by a will to keep going. He made his way back to health through martial arts, quickly becoming fascinated by Japan and Japanese culture, climbing up the ranks of karate, competing with the British team in Sarajevo, and in Japan, where, as he says, he saw more of karate floors than the tourist sites. Training in Japan was very hard, and his favorite Japanese phrase was, where is the bus to go home? <laughs> but the martial arts had become a permanent part of his desire to overcome and be all that he could be. Central to karate, as he outlines it, is the philosophy of Budo, just as important as the physical art itself. Students of karate seek perfection of character. They refrain from violence. They endeavor. They respect others and are faithful. This does not mean that you do not compete, and you will be heading out into a competitive world. But the, as the philosophy that Ronnie exemplifies teaches, it's very instructive. You need your competitor in order for you to develop. If they're not there, you can't develop as a person, as a, as a musician, as an artist, as a writer, as a scholar. If they're not there, you can't develop. You must strive to keep your opponents improving, and therefore, that helps you improve. If you meet with a more powerful opponent, you learn from them and become stronger. So this life of his has been one of perseverance, focus, dedication, not just to the cause of karate, but to other people and to the city that he makes his home. Karate in the hands of good people, he says, is a source of cultural and spiritual development. And this is a reminder of your role. Choose what you do. Do it well to the best of your ability and do it with conscience and responsibility. Karate makes you a master of your own body and a master of your own destiny. And follow Ronnie's role model and be mistress or master of your own destiny. There's a moral in all this, I think, and that is to find a passion and an interest and to follow it. It will lead you somewhere very interesting. As Ronnie says, it's something in your soul, like Van Gogh or Goya. I'm a karate artist. Karate is like an art, a philosophy, a way of life, a mental and physical culture. For Ronnie, now, karate is a battle against life and muscle soreness comes into play. And he recommends magnesium, by the way, when you get that far. Don't tell anybody, he says, but everything that happens in life catches up with you. What you do and how you act, which reminds us of another lesson from Japanese culture. Ronnie is fond of mentioning, and that is respect for elders. Older people have knowledge and experience, but also, not just you young people, they have potential and learn from them. Ronnie is someone who exemplifies, I think, who we want to be as citizens of Aberdeen, of Scotland, and the world. Ronnie and I know that you can be people of character who inspire others with your actions. Ronnie is the only person in the UK to have achieved the ninth dan, an achievement which, as he reminds us, is a battle against yourself to achieve your own full potential. So go forth with Ronnie's example in mind and make a difference in the world. Pro Chancellor, for these reasons, I ask you to bestow on Ronald Watt the degree of Maestro the Varsity Honoris Causa. Egerte Universitatis Magistrum, Constituo, Quo, Proclamo, Renuncio, Et Insignum, Capitum, Hoc Pileo, Orno, Quod Ut Felix, Pastum Quisset, 
same optimum maximum breakoff. Well, it was absolutely wonderful today and, and being a, adopted into such a wonderful university is just absolutely fantastic. It's one of the highlights of my life, you know, so seeing it today and seeing this, all the people getting their awards and their degrees, it was just fantastic. And the Reverend Torrance and, and uh, the principals, it was just fantastic. I would just say keep keep going, keep don't stop, keep heading forward and like our symbol, the dragonfly, always go forward. And uh, uh, we were saying, seek perfection of character, refrain from violent behavior, endeavor, respect others, and be faithful. And make sure you win. <laughs>